Hello and welcome. We've been looking at the date command in uh, the Linux shell, and today we're going to create a very basic countdown timer till Christmas. Let's go ahead and do that. Uh, we'll just call it Xmas. Oops, Xmas, and I'll call it one because I'm going to make a second script in another video. Uh, so I come in here, and I'm going to start off with my little uh, bash template here. Let's make my font a little bit smaller. Um, so I just have a main function in here that's called welcome sleep and then exit. Uh, so we'll do welcome uh, and then we'll do while one with spaces. Uh, Bash is very sensitive about spaces when you're doing if then statements and while loops. Um, but so just make sure while space bracket space one space uh, and then a bracket, and then do and done, and then everything in here. So that just means true. One is true. So it's going to loop forever until you kill it. So what we need to do now is get the today's date and subtract that from Christmas's date, and we're going to do that uh, using epoch timestamps. So in here, I'm just going to create a variable called seconds. I'm going to say that's equal, and again, no spaces there. And inside these parentheses, I am going to run this command. Um, we're going to do dollar sign, uh, double parentheses. So this is going to be doing math in here. And so we're just going to, we're going to put, we could put these in different variables. We could get uh, today's timestamp, Christmas's timestamp, then put them in here uh, and do the math and put them into the sleep, uh, the seconds variable. But we're not going to do it all in one line here. I'm going to say uh, dollar sign, parentheses, and inside those parentheses, date, dash D, and then I'm going to give it a date. And uh, I could just say 1225, and it would automatically do this year's date. But if you want to do it for next Christmas, you can do 2019 if you want. But let's just leave it at that for right now. Uh, so that, and then we're going to say plus percent S. So right there, what this is doing is this right here is running a command. And hopefully you know that already. You're, you have a little bit of bash knowledge. Dollar sign and something in parentheses like this, single parentheses, is saying run this command, which is the date command, and we're getting the epoch time, the Unix timestamp of this date, midnight, first second of that day, or just at the instant it started that second. Um, dash D just means I'm giving you a date. So the outer dollar sign and double uh, parentheses means we're, we're doing math. So here we're going to say minus, so we're taking that number, and we're going to subtract today's date from it. So date, but we want it, again, in seconds, in epoch time. Uh, so if I was to now echo dollar sign seconds, I can now exit out of that, change mod plus x, the name of that script, only you do that once on your system to make it executable. And now we do dot slash, meaning this directory, run this script. Welcome, it waits a second, and now it's looping, and it's giving you how long from now until Christmas in seconds. That's how many seconds until Christmas, and it's looping very, very fast here. That's why you're getting a lot of the same number, and so it's going to keep on looping multiple times a second. I'll control C to kill that, and we'll go back into Vim. Let's uh, make this a little bit nicer, and we're going to format it. But let's, before we do that, we're going to clear the screen. So now, instead of using echo, in this case, I'm going to use printf, which is similar to echo. Uh, it works a little different. Uh, it, sometimes it's a little bit easier when you're trying to format things. So what we're going to do, and if you watched a previous video where we did date stuff, um, what was it? We, just recently, I recorded a video where we were doing, oh, just, just basic timers. We weren't counting down to a date. We were just, you know, counting time. Uh, we're going to do percent uh, 20d. So that means... In the place of this, there's going to be a numeric number, a digit, but we only want it to be uh, two characters long. Uh, this is nice. So it's going to be, if it's less than two, it's going to put a placeholder zero. And then we're going to say days, which is just text, and then we'll do percent two, or zero two D again. Um, and then we'll say hours, percent zero two D. And then we're going to say minutes percent 02d and then we'll do seconds until Christmas 
backslash n for new line. And then right after that on the same line, you want to put in the variables that you want to replace these values with. But because our line's getting kind of long, I'm just going to do a backslash and hit enter. That means the next line is basically, it's like it's being on the same line as the print command. The important thing here is you don't have any extra characters after this. It's the backslash and enter. If you put a space there, there's going to be a problem. So here is where we're going to put our variables, but we want a variable for each of those times. Uh, and if you remember our last video where we worked with time uh, for the countdown timer, or the, the, the stopwatch timers and the alarm timers, um, again, we're going to do math. And we're going to do some division and some division with uh, dropping the the um, the decimal or the whole number depending on what it is. Anyway, this part is math <laughs> uh, in parentheses here. Again, dollar sign double parentheses means we're doing math, and we're going to take that seconds variable and we're going to divide it by eight six four zero zero to get our days. So however many seconds there are. So you saw that big long number of number of seconds until Christmas. If you divide that out by this number, that's how many days there's going to be because that's the number of seconds in a day. Then we're going to take our same variable, seconds, which is still the full number of days, and we're going to divide that by 3600, zero, zero, which is the number of seconds in an hour, I believe. Am I saying that right? And then we're going to say percent twenty-four to drop off the and, and just get the the whole number for that. Uh, I'm not explaining this well. I went into this sort of thing in more detail in a previous video, uh, but we're going to do seconds now divide by sixty percent sixty sixty seconds in a minute, sixty minutes in an hour. That will give us our hours percent or sorry dollar sign uh, parentheses in quotations here. And we're going to say seconds, and we're going to percent 60. So this will give us our number of days. This will give us our number of hours. This will give us our number of minutes. And this will give us our number of seconds, evenly rounded. And then these they'll be placed in here in the appropriate order based on this is the first one. This is the second one because that's the order they came in. And again, the percent two zero two D just means limit it to two characters, which days you might actually want. Uh, uh, let's leave it like that. But I'll add three because you might have three digit characters when you're coming to date. And then we're going to say um, sleep one, and we're done. After that, you know, we exit after the done loop. But the only way we're going to get out of that is by control seeing it anyway. We should be able to run our script now, welcome, and now we got 69 days, 14 hours, 20 minutes, and 47 seconds until Christmas. And it's going to keep on looping. Um, and it's only updating once every second. Uh, so theoretically, you might skip a second here if your computer ran slow uh, in between seconds. But, uh, and actually, it probably would every once in a while again, because of, like I've talked about in previous videos, where even if it's a hundredth of a second or a thousandth of a second, it doesn't take that long to be off to where you're going to be a full second off. Would that apply to this? Doesn't matter. This is our countdown timer for Christmas, and it's not very long at all. I mean, really, it's this line and this line. It's two lines of code. Whoops. Let's uh, close that window. Um, it's basically two lines of code to generate. The rest is just looping through, clearing the screen, waiting a second. So two lines of code basically to get that information uh, printed nicely. And the rest is just looping it. Uh, but in the next video, we're going to format this a little bit better, have a little bit more fun with it. So check that out. I do thank you for watching. Please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris the K. There's a link in the description. Check that out, as well as my Patreon page, patreon.com forward slash metalx1000. You can support me there, and I would appreciate it. Thanks for watching, and I hope that you have a great day.